Today I'm gonna to teach you how to add a blog to your Shopify store and I'm gonna give you some tips on what to blog about. Having a blog is crucial. Blog posts drive traffic to your site in several different ways. They improve your uh, store SEO. It lets you tell stories that convert visitors into customers and it increases customer engagement. So how do we add a blog? Let's get started. First thing we wanna do is go to our Shopify store. As always, little bits treats, old faith, faithful. Old faithful. Um, I'm gonna click on online store and then blog posts. And then in here, yeah, I don't believe, yeah, I don't have anything right here. But it's just as easy as clicking this create blog post button. Um, the next thing is to create your title of the blog post, the content. This has the opportunity for you to add pictures, insert videos, tables, links, uh, sort of like the basic word editor uh, type information in here. And then um, let me just start typing something in here. Uh, 12 ways to increase dog appetite. This should be pretty easy. Um, and then the blog goes in here, right? So for example, if I type in um, 12 ways to increase dog appetite. Is that how you spell appetite? A-P-P-E-T-I-T-E? -T -E? I think so. It hasn't given me a correct thing. But yeah, like if you wanna change things in here, you highlight this, you can make that bold, then uh, you can hit enter, insert an image. So if I already have images in here, ooh, I can insert this image. I would also highly recommend to do image alt text. So this can be black, black, uh, I think that's a Frenchie. Frenchie dog. I'm gonna insert that image and boom, there's the image right there. Um, another thing you can do is also look at your content through HTML. So you can actually, if, you, if you're into HTML, then you can create the blog post through HTML. Or if you have a, a third party vendor creating blog posts for you, a lot of time they do give you the HTML version and you just copy that and paste it right here on the on the, this editor. Um, okay. And then, yeah, after you've done all your content, you also, you can do a featured image for that particular blog post, which we also highly recommend. And then uh, author, I don't know why Sean Aaron Prince, it should be Christian. Actually, this was probably because, yeah, the author is based on the, the accounts that you have in the back end of your store. So if Aaron was the one who created this, or if it was under his name, then it's gonna be his name. I would have to create an account in order for me to become an author of this blog post. Uh, something else to consider is blog posts are the actual individual blog posts. You also have the opportunity to do different blogs, right? So the default one for Shopify is news. So when you create that new blog, it's just gonna show right here, news. You can change that. And you can also add a new blog. So for example, this store in particular, we could have a recipes blog, right? And we'll just call it recipes. So I can create a new one. Blog time is gonna be recipes. And then tags, again, the tags are gonna be more for uh, helping your customers find those relevant blog posts. So if I'm talking about here about dog appetite, and that's a, a keywords and things that I talk about a lot in my blog, then one of the tags could be dog appetite or dog food, right? Where people will be able to click those tags and all of these blog posts will show up under that tag. So it's just easier for people to consume your blog post content. Another thing that you can do here is the SEO. So you can edit some of the SEO, uh, page title, description, URL handle, and all that. URL handle, I would leave it just like it is. It should be the, the same title of the blog post. The description, you can be a little bit more descriptive. Um, it will, I believe it will automatically take the first 320 characters of the body of the content. So you can definitely tweak that and highly recommend to tweak that um, a little bit. Then the other thing was the excerpt. For the excerpt, depending on the type of blog post that you have and the settings and how you have it set up on the actual page, the excerpt will just show that maybe like a little sentence on that, what that particular blog post is all about. This is more for the aesthetics of your actual blog. Another thing that you can also do here on the very top is visibility. So if you're still working on this blog post, I'm not ready to publish this yet, um, I can make it hidden. So automatically right now it's, it's put as hidden. If you're ready to publish this particular blog post, you can hit visible and you can also set a visibility date, right? So when it, when does it actually become visible? So if you're working on this blog post, you don't want it until Thursday, then you can set up the date here for next Thursday. So after we save that, 
the next step here is to make sure to add the blog post to your navigation. Otherwise, nobody's gonna find the blog post, right? So we're gonna go to, on the left-hand side, we're gonna go to navigation. And then on my main menu, or you can do the footer menu, whatever menu you're using for your particular blog or store. Then you wanna hit add menu item. We called it recipes, so I'm gonna call this recipes. And then in here, you can search for it. So you go blogs and then recipes. Like it has news and it has recipes. And then you hit add and then save menu. And we're gonna go ahead and look at the store. And you see at the very top, you'll see that new navigation link right there, recipes. And when we click on recipes, because I didn't add the featured image, it just shows me the, the title of the blog post right here, read more, etc. Click on it, and there it is. There's my sentence, and there's a picture of the dog. And that's it. And for you to be able to share with social media. All right, there you have it. That's how you add a blog to your Shopify store. Before we move any further, if you have found something of value in this video, consider subscribing and turning on notifications. As promised, here are some things that you can start blogging about. All right, number one is education on different product types and or lingo, for example. So if you sell uh, bed covers, for example, you can the blog post title could be duvet, coverlet, duvet, cover, quilt. What's the difference, right? Um, so again, all those words, I have no idea what they mean. I just kind of copied that from somewhere else. I have no idea. But you need to explain either your lingo or if you have different product types, your blog will be a perfect opportunity to explain those things. Um, another thing to do is pro tips on how to use your product. So for example, uh, I believe I looked this up from Bullet Journal. Uh, a title for a blog post could be 12 Bullet Journal Layouts to Help You Organize Your Year. So again, it's using your product, right? And teaching them how to use that particular product. And there could be multiple ways of using your product. I know that we did a seasoning website uh, not too long ago. And for him, for example, he specializes on steak seasoning. And uh, throughout the process, he was telling us like, oh, people use it on veggies, people use it on, on poultry, people use it on fish. And I was like, those are all different blog posts <laughs> that you can use uh, in order to just educate your customer and in, in using those pro tips on how to exactly use your product and not just the most simple way, which would be maybe like a, a rub. Um, maybe the, he has a different recipe that you can use with the rub and something else, which he actually does, bonus point. Holla. 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 Next one is to educate your readers on if your product is actually right for them. So again, it's just more education. Another one could be general lifestyle advice that relates to your product. So again, if he's selling that barbecue or steak seasoning, uh, he could talk about uh, other lifestyles could be maybe different types of grills or uh, it could get even into more different tangents, right? Within the grill, maybe uh, he figures out that a lot of their customer, customers are dads. So he could get more into the lifestyle of dads, right? Maybe cutting grass and different types. I mean, you can go a ton of different directions with the general lifestyle advice. Another one could be featuring influencers with your product. So if you use influencer marketing and your influencers are using your products, then feature them on a blog post. That's super important and it can give you links back to other websites from other influencers, for example. Another one is news related to your product. Um, I think the example I had for this was more influence toward uh, tech, right? So everyone's talking about that new iOS 14.5, right? It's gonna destroy ads and all this. So maybe you sell some kind of tech product um, or service and you can actually do a blog post on how does this news related thing, iOS 14, affect you know, the use of our product or our service, right? So be on the lookout for those uh, news and those keywords and the things that are happening and how does it relate back to your product or your business, right? Another one could be tutorial style blogs with step-by-step -step instructions. We actually do this a lot with our YouTube videos. Our YouTube content, we actually translate it into words and we put it into our website. And this is another avenue, another way to get people to our website and to educate them into our services and everything that we do. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that, hit that like button. And if you haven't already subscribed, consider subscribing to our channel and turning on notifications. All right, we'll see you next time.